Hi, this is Connie Giordano with Walking in Truth Ministry. Join me now as I deliver this stirring message from God's Holy Word. The Life and the Spirit Study Bible says, As Christians, we are engaged in a spiritual conflict with evil. No one would argue with that fact. In Psalm 1817, David referred to the enemy behind the conflict as being my strong enemy who was too strong for me. In other words, this enemy had more power than David had and was likely to overcome him if God had not interposed. In 2 Corinthians 2.11, the Apostle Paul identified this strong enemy as Satan. And then in Ephesians 6.12, he brought in the picture by adding those which make up Satan's demonic host as principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. There is no doubt about it. As Christians, we are in an intense battle with the fiercest of enemies, enemies which are too strong for us. In 2 Corinthians 2.11, Paul warned us, that this strong enemy, this treacherous and deadly foe, this masterful strategist, Satan, has devices which are many and varied and skillful and crafty. They are the means of ensnaring the unthinking and unwary. They are the means of gaining an advantage over you and me and leading us away from devotion to Christ. In Ephesians 6, 11, Paul referred to Satan's devices as wiles. These wiles are different means, plans, schemes, and machinations that Satan uses to deceive, entrap, enslave, and ruin the souls of men. These wiles are methodized, well-laid-out attempts to delude and destroy us. As Christians, we can see that we are dealing with a very powerful and cunning enemy. He hides his designs, falling upon us when we least expect it. He advances covertly, making his approaches in darkness. Barnes Note said, almost all the Christian struggle is a warfare against stratagems and wiles. The pulpit commentary added this comment, our chief enemy does not engage us in open warfare, but deals in wiles and stratagems, which need to be watched against and prepared for with peculiar care. In 2 Corinthians 11.3, Paul referred to Satan as the serpent who through his wiles, his subtlety, beguiled Eve. Paul then went on to warn us, lest our minds should be corrupted, our thoughts become perverted, our judgments become adulterated, and our hearts become alienated from a pure an unmixed attachment to Christ. Revelations 12, 9 refers to Satan as the great dragon, that old serpent which deceiveth the whole world. This great dragon, this old serpent, is full of cunning and ferocity. His force is allied with his craft. He is not one at whom we can afford to laugh. He is not one whose existence we can afford to deny. He is a foe to whom an inch of room should never be given. 
in Ephesians 6, 11, the Apostle Paul admonished all believers to stand against the wiles of the devil. In other words, fight him, oppose him, stand against him, and gain the victory over him. In Ephesians 6, 13, he added, withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. The preacher's homiletic commentary said, stand is the spiritual battle cry. Being armed, defend your liberties, maintain your rights, discomfort your spiritual foes, hold your ground against them. However, in Psalm 1817, David said of this strong enemy, they were too strong for me. So how is the Christian to overcome such a treacherous and deadly foe? How will you? In Ephesians 6.10, Paul gave the answer, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. By faith, acquire strength from the indwelling Christ. Realize that you are impotent without the strength of God. Power to contend with spiritual foes must come from God. In 2 Timothy 2.1, Paul told Timothy, Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. John 1.17 says, Grace came by Jesus Christ. In Christ is where the power is found. Hence, be strong, relying on the grace that Jesus can impart. David knew his enemy was too strong for him, so he made God his strength. In 2 Samuel twenty-two thirty-three, he declared, God is my strength and power. In Psalm 27, 1, he said, The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? David realized that the moment he made God his strength, he became more powerful than his enemies. Psalm 89, 20 to 23 verifies this in saying, I have found David my servant, Mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, and I will beat down his foes before his face. Victory over enemies is of the Lord. The strong enemy was not allowed to conquer, deceive, or prevail against David because he made God his strength. The same can and will happen for you. In Psalm 16, 8, David went on to say, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. The right hand was always the position of defense or protection. David was able to stand against the wiles of a strong enemy because he made God his strength. Hence, he had God so near to him, ready to interpose for his defense. Like David, you don't have to be moved by the wiles of your strong enemy. Make Jesus your strength. Derive strength from him. Be strong in his might and power. Acquire his strength by faith. If you will, Satan will not be able to surprise, deceive, conquer, or prevail against you. You will not be moved. You will be able to stand.